In this video, you will discover the top two charts for showing how customers feel about a survey, how to create this chart easily, and if you like, you can even download this template for free. But first, let's see how it works. Let's start with a survey result about fast food restaurants and what customers think about them. The best way to show this is with a diverging spine chart. Why? Because a diverging spine chart can handle both negative and positive responses very well. Look at this table. Each row adds up to 100% with both negative and positive values. We'll use horizontal bars to show these numbers. But before that, let's set up our workspace. Go to View tab, Enable Ruler and Guides. Then add two vertical guides, one at 10 cm mark on the left and 10 on the right, splitting the space in half. The left half, which is 100%, is for negative numbers and the right half is for positive numbers. Now let's create two rectangles, one on the left and one on the right, and change their fill colors. Add the survey question in the middle and answers on the right and left side of the rectangles. Group the rectangles and labels. Then press Ctrl or Command plus D to copy them. For the first question, taste, minus 40% of respondents felt negative. So make the left rectangle 4 cm wide and the right rectangle should be 6 cm wide for the 60% who felt positive. Do the same for each row, changing the labels and resizing the rectangles as needed. Once you are done, add a vertical line in the middle and two legends on top to finish the chart. While diverging spine charts are great for two contrasting views, they aren't as effective when your survey has three or more responses. For example, in a survey about work-life balance, each category has five different responses ranging from very positive to very negative. In this case, a diverging stack chart is the best choice because it shows three or more answers for each category clearly. Let me show you what I mean. First, create a blank slide with a title. Then add a legend with a color code for each of the five responses. Let's enable guides. It will help us with the right measurement for each response. I'm going to borrow the rectangles and text from the first example. Move the text out and change it to job flexibility. For job flexibility, 20% of respondent thinks it's very positive. So let's change the fill color of the rectangles to match very positive and resize it using the ruler as a guide. Each number on the ruler equals 5% and that means moving 4 places for 20%. Next, 30% feel positive about job flexibility. So, copy the first rectangle, change its fill color and increase its width by 2 more places on the ruler for 30%. Add text label for 20% and 30% on the respective rectangles. Repeat these steps for the remaining responses until you reach 100%. Before moving to the next question, group everything under job flexibility. Copy the group with Ctrl or Command plus D and move it to the next row for work hours. Resize the rectangles based on the percentage of responses. Keep going until you have covered all the survey questions. And here is the final result, the diverging stack chart infographic on work-life balance. The color makes it easy to see which survey questions did well or poorly. If you need this template, click the link in the description or pin comment. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.